Now, of course, our government would never lie to us, right? Well, you know, that's not true. We have now the Treasury Department has said that the debt has been exactly $16 trillion, $699 billion, $396 million for 56 days now. It's not changing. It's frozen for 56 days. They're not spending any more money, according to the federal government. This is from CNS News, and it says the federal debt that is currently subject to a legal limit of $16 trillion, $699 billion, $421 million, $95,673 and 60 cents, <laughs> 60 cents, has stood at exactly $16 trillion, $699 million, $396 million for 56 straight days. That means that for 56 straight days, the federal debt has remained approximately $25 million below the legal limit. I love the fact that they took the, when they set that limit, they went down to even $673.60. You don't want to round that off. Very, very precise. Thank you for setting that debt ceiling for us, Congress. And thank you to the honest government that we have that claims that it has not spent a penny for 56 days. I'm assuming that they haven't written any payroll checks, that they haven't bought anything in that amount of time. And we all know that's a lie. But we know that they're lying to us in many other ways as well. Look at the unemployment figures, for example. Every quarter, every quarter, they come out with an unemployment figure that's new. And they talk about how it is better than they had expected and uh, things are improving. And then they also announce that the previous quarter's figures have been revised down. And they do that in a moving quarterly basis. So every quarter, they revise down the previous uh, figures and then pull the employment figures up to make it look better, and then they do the, the opposite uh, the next quarter to, to make it look like there's always a positive trend, and nobody remembers that. And it goes even farther than that. Remember that the unemployment definition has changed significantly in the last decade or two. It no longer is what you and I think of unemployment figures. They have a lot of different unemployment figures that they create statistically, and remember Mark Twain said, Statistics don't lie, but liars use statistics. Well, our government lies all the time with its statistics. They play those types of games, constantly rearranging unemployment figures, telling us that they've got a debt limit when they actually are pretending that for nearly two months they've not spent another cent. Well, all of that falls into the category of mind control, psychological operations. Stay tuned right after the break. We're going to have the world premiere of State of Mind with Alex Jones and the filmmaking crew providing commentary right after the break. Stay tuned. Stay tuned after the break. We'll have the world premiere of State of Mind, the psychology of control, with special commentary from Alex Jones and the crew from Free Mind Films. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show. we choosing our own paths, our own destiny, or has it been pre-selected for us? C.S. Lewis said, when training beats education, civilization dies. We need to always be cognizant of, as a free society, that information can be used as a weapon. Barrier to discovery is not ignorance. It's the illusion of knowledge. We are seen as nothing but biological androids. To gain control of education in America, not for a philanthropic purpose, but to change the thinking of the American people. From the time we're very young, we're taught to, you know, worship authority basically because that's our key to survival as young children. Discover the history, the present, and the future of mind control. From compulsory state education to the Hollywood media brainwashing machine, we are kept in perpetual bondage to the ideas that shape our actions. And the CIA scientists could actually film people who had been surreptitiously dosed with LSD. There's a brain entrainment process that takes place. That gives the government free reign to create whatever story or narrative it wants to create. Whatever the public face of something is, whatever they're talking about publicly, there's something else over here they're probably not looking at. How to engineer the opinion of the American people so that they would fully endorse, not only endorse, but demand a war. When you 
watch mainline establishment television, you are putting yourself in front of the barrel of a gun. Discover the history, the present, and the future of mind control, psychological warfare, brainwashing. Are we controlled and manipulated? You bet. That's mind control par excellence. Find out how deep the rabbit hole really goes with this new groundbreaking documentary film, State of Mind. Available exclusively at Infowars.com.